Hey, Homestead Prepper. Okay, I want to show you guys this uh, tree that's fallen on our property here. It's a red oak. You can see where it's broke off. I guess the wind took it down or whatever from the storm. I've got uh, one limb sawed off. I've got a couple other limbs I've sawed off. My, my question to y'all is, how many of you have the hand tools and or the ability to saw this up by hand. Now I know you know a chainsaw would make quick work of this, so would a uh, log splitter. But I'm asking, do you have the hand tools for an extended SHTF to uh, survive? Okay, let me let me show you a couple of my tools. Okay, I wouldn't exactly call this a bench top review. I guess we'll call it a picnic table top review. Uh, this is uh, something I think I may have mentioned in another video. I don't recall, but uh, this is a nice little saw I picked up at a flea market for eight dollars this i don't remember we bought this new i don't remember it's my wife's limb flopper that she likes to use and this is just a old harbor freight saw you see it's been repaired and it was five dollars so uh, i'm going to attempt to cut that tree up with just some minimal tools and we'll see how everything works okay um this is going to be kind of difficult i don't have my uh tripod with me right now but uh, these smaller branches up to like one inch this right here we'll uh, cut those off just take that and get this stuff out of the way and put that over there for right now but these little branches I mean you can saw them but this just seems to work so much better and here we get a couple more of these sawed off Get my other hand here. Anyway, you can really move out and get these little ones out of the way. And then we'll get the saw in and we'll start sawing up some of the big ones. But these are going to be great for little limbs. And when you try and saw through the little limbs, they want to, you know, move and it's very difficult. But these, these things work great. Okay, I did a stupid thing. I put the saw in there. I actually did this on purpose. And where it has weight on it and it's buried on there and I can't get it out. But a simple thing you can do is you can just use a 2x4 um, and a couple pieces of block. I don't know how well y'all can see this. And just step on it like that and so that releases the pressure. go and then you can set that right back down and then that'll rest on that and cut the rest of it off okay well I've uh, made some real progress right there Got a little bit of that cut up all by hand. Got this pile right here that needs a little more cutting up, but uh, let the leaves get off of that and got little pieces I can segment out. And I've got another tree that's broke off and fallen over there. Uh, I have some guys right there to help, and their uh, their job is guard duty, so they uh, they they don't uh, help cut up trees. But that's fine. That's fine. They got their job. Uh, we used this last night to. Uh, cook our dinner and make our breakfast this morning and also kept us a little bit warm but um, the the point of the video guys is um, do you have an off-grid way to get wood now I know a lot of people would say oh well that right there I've got a rocket stove that'll last me for a long time or I can just pick up little twigs here and there well that that is true but once everybody else starts picking up twigs you're probably going to have to resort to cutting something up like this and splitting it and I've got a little wood right there I could split and that'll probably give us a couple you know hot meals and you know probably warm us up just a little bit um, now I'm not really under the urgency to cut this up uh, we came up here actually for another project and I, I I didn't bring my chainsaw and I just happened to have this but um, in a grid down situation also if you were to like right now if the grid was down and I were to fire up a chainsaw and start cutting this up, I'd probably have some visitors come around here. 
Uh, this thing makes very little noise and I'm probably not likely to have too many people aware of what I'm doing back here. So that's another thing to consider. Um, you know, preppers talk about, well, you need to be in shape. You need to be in shape. You need to be in shape. Well, uh, well, this is one of these reasons, guys. And I'm, I'm not bragging, you know, or saying anything. But, I mean, how many of you can, uh, you know, cut this up by hand with hand tools? You know, a chainsaw, you can make quick work of that. But um, uh, I've had a few careers in my day. And, you know, I've worked with a bunch of people. And I've met a lot of people who work out and run and they're toned. And they can, they can do, you know, some work. You know what I mean? Um, in construction, uh, we have, anytime I'd see anybody who was all pumped up, you know, bulked up, that was their only goal was just to get big. They, they can't do any work. Uh, I, I know that's going to be offensive to some people out there, but, uh, it, it's truth. And I'm not saying everybody's like that, but I'm just saying what I saw every time we'd have some, a new guy come out there and he'd look like, you know, the Terminator, uh, he'd be gone by 10 o'clock. He couldn't handle it because he was used to working out in a gym and, you know, yeah, he can bench 300, 400 pounds or whatever, but he couldn't do work like this, you know, just can't do it. Um, so guys, I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, you know, go down and cut up your neighbor's tree with a bow saw. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, you know, you need to start doing little projects like this and get a feel for it because when the crap hits the fan, it's going to happen real quick and you may not have time to get in shape so okay guys well that was the point of the video I wanted to make I don't know if you guys can hear that or not but that's a chainsaw wailing in the background and when the craft hits the fan um, I think uh, that's going to be like a beacon for people uh, they're going to search out and see what, uh, what that is. So, you can just barely hear it. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up or not, but I can hear it and I can tell what direction it is. So, that's just, uh, something to be aware of. Got, like I said, got a little bit of wood here and we'll just finish off the video with this right here. All right. Homestead Prepper out.